All right, today we're going to talk about color gamut. What's visible to us and the different forms and the different things that we use for color gamut. Uh, the first thing is gamut. It's a range of colors. Okay, so we're going to first talk about the color gamut that we can actually see. By this diagram right here, this is the visible spectrum that we can see. We can see all these bright greens and bright yellows and bright reds, bright purples and pinks and everything else that you can think of. But our other color gamuts can't quite reach those. And we're going to explain what they're for and why uh, in a little bit. Okay, so the first one we're going to talk about is RGB. And that's signified inside of this yellow triangle. So inside this yellow triangle is our RGB spectrum. It stands for red, green, and blue. It is used in lights. And it is called an additive. Okay, meaning... When I go to my RGB slider, when I add all of these colors together, so I'm going to add them all together, and I'm going to make it 100% red, 100% green, and 100% blue, it adds up to equal white. Okay, This is used, as we can see by this old, old diagram, it is used for TV screens, it's used in scanners, phones, Nowadays, they're used in iPhones and iPads and different uh, colors and different things like that. Um, as we get more technology and better technology, we are getting more, we're able to see more and more color gamut out of these devices. Um, so just keep that in mind when we're looking at these images because these are much, much better nowadays than they were before. So back to our visible spectrum. Now we're going to talk about CMYK. Okay, CMYK is shown here by this little circle with the dotted line. And inside of CMYK, it's called cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Okay, And we're going to go over here to our slider. And in cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, it's mostly used in inks. Okay, And it's called a subtractive. Okay, And so what happens is when I add all of these together, at 100% of all of them, my cyan, my magenta, my yellow, my black, I get black. So everything adds up to be black. This is used for printing out uh, using our printers at home. You'll notice that you get CMYK cartridges. They're also used in offset. And you can see that the offset color gamut gets a little bit more on the spectrum than our uh, other printers because we can do different things uh, with spot colors and uh, Pantone colors that we won't talk about right now. So those are our th two different spectrums that we usually use inside of our graphics room. I'm going to show you real quick the difference I see between the two because you might not be able to see it when we're just working on something. So the difference between the two, here's RGB and here's CMYK. We've got a lot more bright distinctive colors than we do when we're working with CMYK. They're not quite that big and bold and bright. They're not quite there. Okay, so when we're working, we need to be working in CMYK when we're working for Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign. Okay, so how do we do that and change it in Photoshop? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to Image, I'm going to go to Mode, and then I'm going to go to CMYK Color. Now when I click on this, what's going to happen is you're going to see a color change on my screen. It's not your guys' screen, it's actually me changing my color to our CMYK color gamut and it's going to drop down and you're not going to see those bright details that you see before. So here we go. I'm going to tell it don't merge because I've already used up different layers up here and I'm telling it don't merge my layers. So tell it don't merge and there's my color change. And again, make sure when we're doing this we are using CMYK. It is very important that we do this. Alright, hope you guys learned a little bit more about color gamut and we'll see you soon.